Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Good morning, y'all. Um, I'm sitting here in my garage trying to get a workout, but I don't know how that's going to work out. <laughs> Anyways, well, if everybody isn't aware of what's been going on the last few days, um, a man named George Floyd was murdered in Minneapolis, and... Um, I just want to say it's very, very, very disgusting, and it's a time to put a stop to this bullshit. I'm tired of it. Like, I'm so over it. It's beyond, it's beyond, like, emotions at this point. Like, I don't want to feel it anymore. I want to fucking step into it, like really get something done and so I was just thinking the other day like what do black America need to do and as well as other people in this country who are against um violence and the police brutality and different things that's going on that's being filmed and you know um shown so if you know George, if we start with George Zimmerman, he had so many people plaguing him with funds to fight and get the best lawyers that there, that there is to help him fight his case. And I'm like, okay, these families go through this. They get awarded money from the state. But to me, that's hush money. Like it's not stopping what's going on. So the, the, the state or who, wherever you at, they're willing to pay you for the misconduct of their officer or the misconduct of whomever the city is representing because it seems like they may have a policy out there that will say, okay, if a certain amount of people do this, we're able to be responsible for them because there at some point could be a liability to us. So it's to me, it's like hush money is baby money because it's not hurting them emotionally. It's not even hurting them financially because they've probably been saving for bullshit like this to happen from these type of people, you know? Um, it's called insurance. You know, we have insurance when we have a car accident and we're not subject to have a car accident every day, but we may have one or two in five years. So guess what? paying your insurance for two to five years, you got money saved up to to pacify or to uh, alleviate what's going on to help the situation. And, but they still not doing anything about what's happening. Like they're not attacking the fucking um, issue. And the issue is police brutality. Like, I'm so over it. Like, we can talk in fucking circles about it, but what can we do about it? What can we do about it as a as a country? What can we do about it as a community? Because, oh my gosh, it's too it's too much. And I see why black people have to make a thing Black Lives Matter because black lives do matter and. It matters because of the way that policemen feel that they could treat black people when they're at their hands. And I'm sorry, but if I see my sister and my brother being attacked by someone, I don't give a fuck if he got a, a badge or a suit on or even a gun. I feel like I'm going to try to step in and help him. I, I'm... I'm sorry. I just don't like to see people get abused in any form or fashion. And that's just how I feel. Now, when it comes to what ha- comes to it, the moment it happens, then there might be a different story. But I will tell you, I will try to help you. Um, we can police, police, call the police, on the police, whatever the fuck you got to do. You need to do it. If you have to go buy you can of mace and mace that motherfucker, then mace his ass. I'm just saying, you ain't got to touch them. They can mace us. Why can't we mace them? Sorry. But, um, but yes, that's what I want to know. I want to 
I feel like I feel like I want to uh, start a GoFundMe so that we can go into the so that we can go into the judicial system and rewrite this shit. If we have to take our most powerful lawyers in this country and pay for and pay for them, the country pay for them to go in there and fight for these laws to be redone, then that's what we need to do. Well, we just need a uh, um, small group of very politically inclined black people to go to the courts and get this done. This shit was set in place by these white people a long time ago. I'm sure black people didn't have anything to fucking do with it. Nothing. Like, nothing. They didn't have anything to do with it. So, right now, we need to have something to do with it. We need to have that shit rewrote ASAP. A motherfucking sap. And it needs to be equality. You know, you see what white people run up on, white policemen run up on white people, and they just let them just do whatever they want to do. They even let a little kid talk shit to their ass. But let it be a black grown-up. He did just as soon as he come in contact with you. Like, even Sandra Bland, like, what did that lady do? Except for running her fucking mouth and telling you just how she feels. And it cost her her life for being herself. And a person could not take someone running their mouth. Now, to me, that's a little pussy because you can't control your emotions. That words would get you so out of character that you can't contain yourself as to what you're going to do next. Hmm, that is a shame. And this is what we're dealing with shameless motherfuckers but anyways that's what I got to say and I really 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 serious about the group of people coming together um, I want to go out here and fight for this man George Floyd um, I feel like his life matters uh, the ones before him lives matter and nobody deserved anything. And he did not die from no fucking coronary artery, whatever. He, how did you know he was going to die that day? You don't know that man was going to die that day. But he did. And he died because someone was putting pressure on him and killed that man. So you can't say he died from no damn coronary artery disease. That's stupid. People would come up with anything, I'm telling you, anything to say. Anything.